Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back in the town. Now you're probably wondering why I'm in the police bronco. I think this was the third or fourth episode of the town I built a police station. And it doesn't look very good. It's a very dull looking building. It just doesn't go along with the rest of the buildings in the town since we've grown so much. And I've gotten a lot better, or at least I feel like I've gotten a lot better at building structures. So I decided that I was going to completely redo the police station because it really needed it and we've added a new squad car so I figured let's go ahead and drive the Bronco one last time before we retire it. But yeah let's go over there and check that out. Uh, over to the left that is the ice cream shop from the last episode and over to the right here that is the barber shop also from the last episode I will link that in the description. But yeah, one more thing I want to discuss before we check this police station out. We need a name for the town. I know I've talked about it a little bit, but I'm getting pretty serious about it, and I want to eventually put up a billboard with the name of the town on it. So comment below and let me know what you guys think for a name for this town. Now, here is the new police station, and I am extremely proud of this building. It looks fantastic. I'm probably going to flash a video up on screen showing the old police station just in case you forgot what it looked like. I know I pretty much doubled in size at least since that episode so a lot of you guys probably haven't even seen it. So this is the new police station now. The eyesore of a fire station is still right to the right here. I need to destroy this and probably redo it also. I'm not gonna do it next episode. Next episode I'll probably do something else because I don't want to stick these two themes too close together. So we're going to redo this and we're just going to deal with it for now. It actually kind of looks like the police station from before with just a big garage on it. Alright, here's the police station. We're going to go over it first and then we'll check out the squad car after. Now there's three ways into this police station. You've got the lobby doors here. This is an employee entrance right here. And if you're booking a suspect, there's an entrance on the side behind the gate. I will go over that last when we check out the squad car. Now, there is quite a bit of security around here. You've got a couple security cameras, which actually came out really nice. You can see the metal blocks there with the sensor. They're similar to the ones that are at the bank across town. I've got one, that one's kind of looking out to the right, and I've got one over here that's kind of looking out to the left. Now, I do have one that's at the end of the lobby, and it looks out towards the front, so you kind of catch all angles here of the uh, police station. Uh, those plants over there, those are by Moonbow. I had them saved on my lift and I needed something to stick in the front here because it looked a little empty. So those worked really good and I will link his channel in the description. That's really awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and travel into the lobby here. The lobby is fairly nice. I think it came out good. I wasn't really sure what type of pattern I was going to use on the ground. But I looked at a couple pictures and it seems like they use this little border with the tiles. So... I think that turned out good. You've got these little waiting area seats here. Uh, say if you're filing a police report or maybe bailing somebody out, you probably have to wait out here. Here's where the attendant sets, and you've got these little this little area that they're in, and they're actually I'll have to go over that room here in a second because it's also the controller room. Up here is like one of those seals. A lot of times you'll walk into a police station. Now, I haven't personally been into one, but from the pictures I've seen of lobbies. They'll have like their badge up there and it'll talk about or at least show the precinct and show everything up on the uh, top here. So that came out pretty good. I didn't really, I couldn't really make the shape that I wanted to make, but with the vanilla parts, uh, you're really limited. I, I almost wanted to use mods, but I reminded myself that no, this is a non-mod build. This whole town is strictly vanilla. Now, there's the other camera I was talking about. It's actually got a nice view of the front here. But yeah, we're going to go ahead, let's see, left or right? I think we're going to go to the right here. The right is where the lockers are. The left side is where you would be going into like bookings and going to the holding cells. So we're going to do that last. Let's go ahead and check out this side. Uh, this side in here, this is like a little hallway. It kind of just leads into separate, like several different rooms. Uh, say if you're just now coming up on shift, you can come into here. This is like a locker room for the cops. Uh, you can come in, store your personal items in the lockers here. You've got a nice little bench. Uh, just a uh, little area here. Now, I was going to make this bigger, and I'm not really sure. I'm, 
I would think maybe they have showers and stuff in these. Uh, normally, you're not staying overnight, but say you get dirty at work, uh, you come in, shower, and then go home. I just did not quite have the room for that here. Uh, this building is already kind of big, but I was dealing with limited area outside, so I couldn't make it much bigger, and I had so many other rooms that I wanted to do. Uh, this door here leads to behind the reception desk here. Uh, this is the first set of controllers, and yes, they are out in the open, but this building has so many controllers in it, I had to organize them. So you've got these here, uh, there's another set back here, and there's one set upstairs. Uh, there's that many of them, because uh, everything's on logic gates, everything opens and closes from each side, so it takes a lot to do that, but I think I organized it fairly well. But yeah, here's the uh, little reception area, you've got a couple file ca filing cabinets. And yeah, they can uh, work with you up here. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here. Now, we're not going to go back here because this is the end of the holding area or end of the uh, booking area. We're going to actually do it from this side. And we're going to do it from the employee entrance. So we're going to go back out here. Okay, so say you've arrested a suspect and you're bringing him in. You're going to pull back here into this area. And we're going to go up to this gate and they're going to let you in. And this gate is really cool. Zachary... The guy that I've been working with quite a bit recently, uh, he's done some stuff for this theme park and all that. Uh, he has actually designed this, and I probably just would have had a gate that swings open, but he's got one, and you can see the bearings under here. It's kind of like a, uh, I would say kind of like an elevator, how you do those, uh, or like a piston. It's going to scoot that gate over, but it also makes it flush with the, uh, the fence itself. There's these little slanted pieces, and let's go ahead and do it one more time here. You can see it. It'll actually slide itself back behind this but when you close it it'll actually be flush with the uh, other gate or at least the other part of the fence there it goes that is really cool but yeah you're gonna book your suspect so you're gonna come into here uh, this little area here is just like a feeder area uh, this is where the employee entrance is this is the lobby through this door and this is where you would go to book your suspect so you'd bring them in here um, more than likely they would have like some sort of shower over here. Uh, normally they have to make them shower and then you'd have to dress them up in their clothes. Uh, here's some lockers, say you've got the jail clothes in here. So they would change here and here's where they get their picture taken. Now I'm pretty sure they do this like the way I have it set up. I mean this might be old fashioned. Like in the movies you see them stand in front of one of these boards. And they stand one way, get their picture taken, turn the other way, get their picture taken. So that's the setup I have here. It could be different. I could be completely wrong about this, but this is a neat little area. Now around here are the actual cells. Now they either have like one big cell to just to throw everybody in, or sometimes you would have these little individual cells. I went with these because it just looks so much nicer. And I've been using those new pipe pieces that Scrap Mechanic provides, and these are just awesome. They, they make perfect bars. So yeah, you can open these up. A lot of times these don't have beds in them. Uh, they'll give you a mat, say if it's late at night, you get arrested. Because these are this is really just a holding cell. Uh, prison is a completely different thing, so you're probably going to be sleeping on a mat on the floor, and you're probably going to be using the bathroom in front of everybody, which this has got to be absolutely embarrassing. And I will never visit one of these places in real life. I'm going to try to keep... Uh, Keep clean off that, because that's uh, I don't I don't want to go in one of these. But yeah, that's the end process there. Here's another set of controllers. I uh, get a little another security camera. Now this camera is kind of important because it's watching a key area. This is the evidence locker. Now, say you've confiscated. We're gonna use ducks as an example. We've confiscated ducks. Well, we're gonna put them back here, put them on the shelves, check them in. And they need to be in a safe area, so that's why the camera is watching that. So you would go in here, check in your confiscated items, and they would put them back on the shelf. And I'm pretty sure they destroy most stuff after a certain amount of time, or they hold it maybe for trial. Uh, I'm not sure how that whole process works, but that's what that area is. Now, this staircase will take you up to the offices. Now, there's three rooms up here. We've got the police chief's office here there's a conference room slash briefing room down the hall and we'll save this room over here for last but this is just a small office like I said I was dealing with a limited amount of space so I couldn't go overboard with this top section so it's it's a little tight but it'll do 
Uh, he's actually got a really nice view of the town. Uh, you can see the apartments over there, the bank, the paint shop. You can see the Starbucks sign way over there. Man, it's really hard to believe how much this town truly has grown. It's actually huge. And we're still growing, so that's a nice office there. Over here is the briefing room. Say uh, we're about to go out on a special operation. They would come in here, go over everything. You got a nice table here. Maybe there's some uh, stuff as far as that's a board with evidence or, you know, who they're going after. That would be over there. Uh, that's a pretty nice room. I don't think they would be in the office area like this, but... Uh, this was one of the only areas that I could use. I was originally going to try to stick this downstairs somewhere, but I just did not have room at all, so it went up here. Now, over here, this is the last room. Say we need to, I don't know if they call them interrogation rooms anymore, but say if we need to question a suspect. We'd bring him up here, put him in here. This is your interrogation room. He's going to sit here, get questioned. Uh, we'll close it from here, and you can actually watch from say this is a one-way glass you can watch from here uh, this is also another area where we're housing controllers but yeah yeah I've got control of the door too so say we want to shut the door uh, he can't get out there's no buttons on the inside so the suspect is stuck in there but I thought that was a, a neat little touch let's go ahead and back out of there yeah this whole police station is actually really nice I don't really know what rooms I could have added. Like, I could have made some of the rooms bigger, uh, but I think I covered most rooms that would be in a standard police station. So, I'm fairly satisfied with the way that came out. And like I said, I did get some help from uh, Zachary on this. Uh, he did the gate outside, and he helped me a lot with that squad car that we're about to go check out. But yeah, I believe I've been through most of the process in here. Uh, this police station is on the workshop, so if you'd like to download it, feel free to do that. Stick it in your own town. It's surprisingly not very laggy, so it should work in most people's games. Alright, let's check out the squad car here. Now this thing is really neat, and it's got a really ridiculous spider web. Now, Zachary has a brain in here, and it's got a couple tote bot heads on it. It's a bunch of logic gates together that actually sound off the siren and it sounds really cool and it actually makes the lights flash with the uh, noise so we're gonna test that out here in a second but I thought you guys should look at that I got quite a bit of trunk space in here let's go ahead and close that uh, you've got the back here and of course there's not a lot of room there shouldn't be I mean you're getting arrested and they don't want you to move around a lot back there so you've got that uh, the hood will open that up here in a second let's go ahead and jump in this thing is fairly fast now, I was trying to originally base it off like a Dodge Charger, and that didn't really come out the way I wanted it to, so it actually looks a little more like a Crown Vic than the uh, Charger, but it does have a nice like brush guard here in the front, so if you need to pit maneuver anybody, uh, you should be able to get the job done. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Now everything opens up like all my vehicles. You've got the uh, roof hatch here. The hood opens up, you've got a little bit of engine detail there. There's the trunk and the back doors. So let's go ahead and close all of that. Let's take it out for a little bit of a drive. Hopefully we can hear these sirens in the recording. Sometimes these tote bots are a little quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and activate those. There you go. I'm actually going to be quiet for a second and let you guys hear that. That is really, really awesome. I kind of wish you could make the uh, the logic gates light up a solid color and you can customize that color. Maybe that's a thing they can add in the future because I would like to see like a really dark blue in the, the red and that would just be the ultimate thing being able to stick all those logic gates up and down the top there. But it did come out really nice. Another thing that's really cool is the uh, spotlight turns with the uh, wheel. So I was trying to think of a way to make it actually move, and Zachary, he placed it up there, and he was like, well, I guess we're going to stick it in with the uh, steering. So that actually worked out pretty good. But yeah, this thing is a pretty sweet vehicle. We will stick this on the workshop also, so you'll have the police station and a vehicle to go along with it. Now, I will, I think I still already have the Bronco up there too, so that's available. If you do want to drive the old busted vehicle now as far as handling this thing handles fine the small tires and somebody was commenting about this the small tires do seem to have more grip and it's kind of weird because 
you don't have to turn as much so it feels almost like you have a suspension glitch because you turn and it instantly responds so I'm still getting used to the way these things handle and I've been switching most of my vehicles to it and I still have quite a few vehicles to switch over to this now not all vehicles are going to change to these small tires uh, like the Bronco for instance I won't put small tires on that because it just doesn't make sense uh, this vehicle goes perfect with small tires because it's a small car and I've been trying to scale down my vehicles because I realized, especially in the older town episodes, just truly how big they were compared to the building. So definitely working on that. But yeah, I've got more areas that I can work with, especially right there to the left of the police station. We're going to do something there. I've got the areas out here and we're actually somewhat near the campground area. Actually, you can somewhat see it up there. Uh, I'm thinking about doing something something towards this area very soon. Also, there's a lot of services that I do want to start doing. Uh, we need trash, we need transportation, so uh, we talked a little bit about a bus or a taxi service. Now, I see the train request a lot, and I don't think a lot of people don't realize that trains are basically impossible in Scrap Mechanic uh, without it causing a tremendous amount of lag. Now, the I think it's the Grego mod has some parts that do resemble train parts and he does a fantastic job creating like train engines but for the town it is really unfeasible for that to happen so probably not going to be doing a train but we'll keep listening to the other suggestions that you guys have now one last thing that i do want to bring up i think for halloween we will do a little special in the town for that i'm probably going to go back and redecorate a lot of it uh, maybe we'll have like a little festival or something set up. I think that would be really fun for Halloween. And we'll probably do like a Halloween themed maybe car or something. And maybe we'll add something else. Uh, maybe I'll figure out a building or something. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I will stick the map in the description if you'd like to download the whole thing. If not, you can download each item off the workshop. We will be returning with more Scrap Mechanic later in the week. I've got some viewer creations I'm going to check out. I do want to go back into the Apocalypse world. We're going to do some of that. And I've got some other things planned if work allows it. Also, we will be playing some more City Skylines. So if you'd like to join us over there. And I'm going to try to play another game or two on the channel this week. But anyways, guys, hope you have a good day. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.